Good Monday morning. This is Kent Blaylock with SDG Bible Study. That's the Soli Deo Gloria Bible Study coming to you on this 22nd day of May, 2023. We will continue this morning in our reading of God's Word chronologically from the One Year Chronological Bible. I hope you are doing well and I hope you're ready to join me this morning as we read God's Word together. beginning in 1 Kings chapter 7. Solomon was building his own house 13 years and he finished his entire house. He built, he built the house of the forest of Lebanon. Its length was 100 cubits and its breadth 50 cubits and its height 30 cubits and it was built on four rows of cedar pillars with cedar beams on the pillars and it was covered with cedar above the chambers that were on the 45 pillars, 15 in each row. There were window frames in three rows and window, and window opposite window in three tiers. All the doorways and windows had square frames and window was opposite window in three tiers. And he made the hall of pillars. Its length was 50 cubits and its breadth 30 cubits. There was a porch in front with pillars and a canopy in front of them. And he made the hall of the throne where he was to pr pronounce judgment, even the hall of judgment. It was finished with cedar from floor to rafters. His own house where he was to dwell in the other court back of the, the hall was of like workmanship. Solomon also made a house like this hall for, for Pharaoh's daughter whom he had taken in marriage. All these were made of costly stones, cut according to measure, sawed with saws, back and front, even from the foundation to the coping, and from the outside to the great court. The foundation was of costly stones, huge stones, stones of eight and ten cubits, and above were costly stones, cut according to measurement, and cedar. The great court had three courts, courses of cut stone all around, and a course of cedar beams, so had the inner court of the house of the Lord and the vestibule of the house. And King Solomon sent and brought Hiram from Tyre. He was the son of a widow of the tribe of Naphtali, and his father was a man of Tyre, a worker in bronze, and he was full of wisdom, understanding, and skill for making any work in bronze. He came to King Solomon and did all his work. He cast two pillars of bronze, 18 cubits was the height of one pillar, and a line of 12 cubits measured its circumference. It was hollow, and its thickness was four fingers. The second pillar was the same. He also made two capitals of cast bronze to set on the tops of the pillars. The height of the one capital was five cubits, and the height of the other capital was five cubits. There were lattices of checkerwork with wreaths of chainwork for the capitals on the tops of the pillars, a lattice for the one capital and a lattice for the other capital. Likewise, he made pomegranates in two rows around the one lattice work to cover the capital that was on the top of the pillar, and he did, and he did the same with the other capital. Now the capitals that were on the top of the pillars in the vestibule were of lily work, four cubits. The capitals were on the two pillars and also above the rounded projection, which was beside the latticework. There were 200 pomegranates in two rows all around, and so with the other capital. He set up the pillars at the vestibule of the temple. He set up the pillar on the south and called its name Jachin, and he set up the pillar on the north and called its name Boaz, and on the tops of the pillars was lily work. Thus the work of the pillars was finished. Then he made the sea of cast metal. It was round, ten cubits from brim to brim, and five cubits high, and a line of thirty cubits measured its circumference. Under its brim were gourds for ten cubits, compassing the sea all around. The gourds were in two rows, cast with it when it was cast. It stood on twelve oxen, three facing north, three facing west, three facing south, and three facing east. The sea was set on them, and all their rear parts were inward. Its thickness was a hand breadth, and its brim was made like the brim of a cup. 
like the flower of a lily. It held 2,000 baths. He also made the 10 stands of bronze. Each stand was four cubits long, four cubits wide, and three cubits high. This was the construction of the stands. They had panels, and the panels were set in the frames. And on the panels they were set in the fr- and on the panels that were set in the frames were lion, oxen, and cherubim. On the frames, both above and below the lions and oxen, there were wreaths of beveled work. Moreover, each stand had four bronze wheels and axles of bronze, and at the four corners were so- supports for a basin. The supports were cast with th- wreaths at the side of each. Its opening was within a crown that projected upward one cubit. Its opening was round, and its pedestal, as a pedestal is made, a cubit, a cubit, and a half deep. At its opening there were carvings, and its panels were square, not round, and the four wheels were underneath the panels. The axles of the wheels were of one piece with its stands, and the height of a wheel was a cubit and a half. The wheels were made like a chariot wheel. Their axles, their rims, their spokes, and their hubs were all cast. There were four supports at the four corners of each stand. The supports were of one piece with the stands. And on top of the stand there was a round band half a cubit high. And on top of it, on, and, on top, and on the top of the stand, it stays and its panels were of one piece with it. And on the surfaces of its stays and on its panels, he carved cherubim, lions, and palm trees, according to the space of each with wreaths all around. After this manner, he made the ten stands. All of them were cast alike of the same measure and the same form. And he made ten basins of bronze. Each basin held forty baths. Each basin measured four cubits, and there was a basin for each of the ten stands. And he set the stands, five on the south side of the house and five on the north side of the house. And he set the sea at the southeast corner of the house. Hiram also made the pots, the shovels, and the basins. So Hiram finished all the work that he did for King Solomon on the house of the Lord. The two pillars, the two bowls of the capitals that were on the tops of the pillars, and the lattice works to cover the two bowls of the capitals that were on top of the pillars and the 400 pomegranates for the two lattice works, two rows of pomegranates for each lattice work, to cover the two bowls of the capitals that were on the pillars, the the ten stands and the ten basins on the stands, and the one sea and the twelve oxen underneath the sea. Now the pots, the shovels, and the basins, all these vessels in the house of the Lord, which Hiram made for King Solomon, were of burnished bronze. In the plain of the Jordan, the king cast him in the clay ground between Succoth and Zarethan. And Solomon left all the vessels unweighed, because they were so many of them, the weight of the bronze was not ascertained. So Solomon made all the vessels that were in the house of the Lord, the golden altar, the golden table for the bread of presence, of the, for the bread of the presence, the lampstands of pure gold, five on the south side and five on the north before the inner sanctuary, the flowers, the lamps, and the tongs of gold, the cups, snuffers, basins, dishes for incense, and fire pans of pure, fire pans of pure gold, and the sockets of gold for the doors of the innermost part of the house, the most holy place, and for the doors of the nave of the temple. Thus all the work that King Solomon did on the house of the Lord was finished, And Solomon brought in the things that David his father had dedicated, the silver, the gold, and the vessels, and stored them in the treasuries of the house of the Lord. Now to 2 Chronicles chapter 3, verses 15 through 17. In the front of the house he made two pillars, 35 cubits high, with a capital of five cubits on the top of each. He made chains like a necklace and put them on tops of the pillars, and he made a hundred pomegranates and put them on the chains. He set up the pillars in front of the temple, one on the south, the other on the north. That on the south he called Jachin, and that on the north, Boaz. Second Chronicles chapter 4.
He made an altar of bronze 20 cubits long and 20 cubits wide and 10 cubits high. Then he made the sea of cast metal. It was round, 10, ten cubits from brim to brim and 5 cubits high, and a line of 30 cubits measured its circumference. Under it were figures of gourds for 10 cubits compassing the sea all around. The gourds were in two rows, cast with it when it was cast. It stood on 12 oxen, three facing north, three facing west, three facing south, and three facing east. The sea was set on them, and all their rear parts were inward. The, its thickness was a hand breadth, and its brim was made like the brim of a cup, like the flower of a lily. It held 3,000 baths. He also made ten basins in which to wash, and set five on the south side and five on the north side. In these, they were to rinse off what was used for the burnt offering, and the sea was for the priests to wash in. And he made ten golden lampstands, as prescribed, and set them in the temple, five on the south side and five on the north. He also made ten tables and placed them in the temple, five on the south side and five on the north. And he made a hundred basins of gold. He made the court of the priest and the great court and doors of the, for the court and overlaid their doors with bronze. And he set the sea at the southeast corner of the house. Hiram also made the pots, the shovels, and the basins. So Hiram finished the work that he, had, that he did for King Solomon on the house of God, the two pillars, the bowls, and the two capitals on the tops of the pillars and the two lattice works to cover the, the, the two bowls of the capitals that were on the tops of the pillars, and the 400 pomegranates for the two lattice works, two rows of pomegranate, pomegranates for each lattice work, to cover the two bowls of the capitals that were on the pillars. He made the stands also, and the basins on the stands, and the one sea, and the twelve oxen underneath it, the pots, the shovels, the forks, and all the equipment for those Huramabi made of burnished bronze for King Solomon for the house of the Lord. In the plain of the Jordan, the king cast them in the clay ground between Succoth and Zerida. Solomon made all these things in great quantities, for the weight of the bronze was not salt. So Solomon made all the vessels that were in the house of God, the golden altar, the tables for the bread of the presence, the lampstands and their lamps of pure gold to burn before the inner sanctuary as prescribed, the flowers, the lamps, and the tongs of purest gold, the snuffers, basins, dishes for incense, and fire pans of pure gold, and the sockets of the temple for the inner doors to the most holy place and for the doors of the nave of the temple were of gold. And that will conclude our reading this morning as we have seen the making of the temple Hiram coming from, from Tyre and uh, building also the house for Solomon and his wife and finishing the work on the temple and that will be our reading for today I hope you will join me tomorrow as we continue in this reading in the life of King Solomon and the children of Israel now we'll see how they walk with their God. I hope you're walking well with your God this morning. The one and only true God. The one and only deserving of glory this morning. Soli Deo Gloria.